Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Google Chrome has a very popular experimental flag called Auto Dark Mode for Web Contents, which if we head into our experimental flags page by entering chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags into the Omnibox, is an experimental option that's aimed to automatically render web pages in a dark theme, even if the website didn't natively support the actual dark theme or dark mode. So as an example, there we have Chrome's website, which is in a light theme by default. And if we enter auto dark, here's the flag, auto dark mode for web contents, renders all web contents using a dark theme. You change it from default to enabled, then you'll have to relaunch the browser. And you'll notice now if I head over to the same website, it's now forced it into dark mode. And the only negative with this is obviously it can cause a couple of rendering issues on certain websites forcing a dark mode. Um, so you get the general idea. And if you want to pop everything back, you can just put that back to default, relaunch. And there we go. It's back to light theme. So that's the, the gist of what I'm trying to convey regarding that flag. Now, just to let you know that... Google now has officially pulled its plans to roll out auto dark mode for web pages as a standard browser feature. And this flag has been available, auto dark mode, has been available in the browser now for quite some time. So it seems now that that is finally been scrapped, those plans, and instead the experimental flag that enables this feature now will remain available indefinitely in the browser and as mentioned it's a very popular experimental flag among Windows users and I have actually posted a video on how you can force dark mode on any website in Chrome, Edge, Brave and Vivaldi and I'll leave um, that video link down below and in the end screen if you would be interested because it is, does tie into what we're talking about today. Now according to a commit message over on Chromium Garrett. If we just head over to that quickly. Here we can see dated the 4th of March this year. Flags deprecation. The flag enable force dark has expired and been removed from the Chrome flags user interface. It says here this flag has been marked as expiring in M136, so that will be the stable launch of version 136. We are currently on version 134. It will remain around indefinitely, so 136 or earlier. And this bug has been open for the English teams to clean up the references for the flag. Now, if we head down to one of the two comments and we expand for the full commit details, here it gives us um, the relevant information. It says, there are no long-term plans to expose this more widely on the web. A project to add this as a browser feature was not successful. Okay, so obviously due to its instability and having some rendering issues on websites, this could be a good reason why Google is pulling this flag to enable auto dark mode on most websites. And they say this is one of the top enabled flags on Windows, which makes removing it non-trivial. So there we go. And as mentioned, a very popular flag, especially with Windows users. So that's according to that commit message. But the good news is that for now, as I just demonstrated, you can continue to enable the auto dark mode for web contents flag. If you want to force dark mode, you can go check that video out. As mentioned, it will be linked down below and in the end screen. But obviously, when that flag is finally removed and is no longer available, if I get knowledge of that, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop because obviously this was a very popular experimental feature uh, in the Google Chrome web browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.